everybody, and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well, and today we're talking about my boy, my brother, Matthew Kadish, who completely owned somebody on Twitter the other day, and I just had to make a video dedicated to this very topic because of just how amazing it is. So as you can see, follow him on Matthew, you know, follow him at Matthew Kadish on Twitter. He's an awesome dude. He writes for Medium.com. He also now writes for BleedingFool.com, and he does some really great character breakdowns, great movie breakdowns, and basically helps you to understand why films are good or bad from an objective standpoint. One of the best things he ever did on Medium was that he did this long article breaking down why, objectively speaking, The Last Jedi is a poorly written story. And it's great because he, he starts off with the premises saying, I'm not going to go into this, I'm not going to go into that. The whole point of this is not to try and got, you know dive into all the stuff that we were talking about on YouTube. It was purely a you know looking at it from a story-based perspective, looking at it from a standards-based perspective, and it's just brilliant. It's fantastic. But also, we've got here just amazing back and forth in here. So you see the tweet that he retweeted uh, with the comments here. It says, It's hilarious when Last Jedi defenders accuse people with legit criticism of being sexist by pointing out the writing issues of The Last Jedi. Um, awful. Especially about the female characters. And then here, here is just the back and forth, and it's just amazing. So, Star Wars Diehards, which is just hilarious to me, says, Nah, y'all y'all are just jokes. You're so mad because females are now doing what males did in the other Star Wars, and y'all hate it. Maybe try being less insecure about everything. Men are still the ones writing these characters. Our criticisms are about the men who wrote them and their poor ability to create believable and well-written female characters. That's a whole ass lie to cover your sexism. How is it sexism, and here is his line, how is it sexism if we're criticizing the writing of old white men? Mic drop. <laughs> So this dude is complaining, saying like, oh, y'all are just sexist, and y'all y'all just trying to hide your sexism with everything. It's like, how can I be sexist if I'm being critical of a writer who is an older white male? I don't understand this. I don't understand you, Lisa. And then his response is, because it was fun when they wrote a male character the same way. No, because they didn't write a male character the same way, and you can know that if you actually read anything that Matthew Kadish wrote. But I just, I mean... Oh, I love it. How is it sexism if we're criticizing the writing of old white men? It's kind of just like everything going on with Ryan Johnson on Twitter. Uh, you know, him responding to EVS, him going after EVS, and, you know, him going after, rather, uh, supporting somebody for going after somebody. So there was someone who was verified on Twitter and had thousands of followers who went out of his way to say, mm, I'm bored, so I'm going to go after people that are being critical of The Last Jedi. And so then, of course, Ryan Johnson throws his hat into the discussion and says, Oh, thank you, or I love you. I know that that was his word. I love you. And then eventually EVS gets involved in the discussion, and then uh, <laughs> Ryan Johnson basically tries to put a, like, a, like, who are you, who do you think you are type situation. It's like, dude, you know who he is. You know who he is. He's the one that, you know, one of the many people that is going to lead to your trilogy being canceled, bro. And you can tell that this dude obviously is not going to get a movie because if he was still under the Disney umbrella, if he was still being protected by Disney, then Disney would obviously still be holding its policy about how their stars, how their, you know, people associated with them interact with the fans, talk to the fan bases, etc. Because they know that that type of toxic stupidity is what I'm going to label as toxic stupidity, which, of course, you know, Ryan Johnson is the prince of, I would say, dare say, even the queen of. And when it really comes down to it, Disney does not support that kind of stuff at the end of the day. And this just is amazing to me. So I just had to point this out. So huge shout out to Matthew Kadish. This really is all about just supporting him. Go support him on Medium. Um, and also, please also support him over on The Bleeding Fool. He does really great character break breakdowns, but also totally owns people with just logic and reason. Notice how he doesn't have to say anything. He does not have to curse out. He does not have to do any of that stuff. He just is able to use pure, simple reason. How is it sexism if we're criticizing the writing of old white men? Thank you. And Star Star Wars diehards, you're an idiot. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I'm going to be making a couple more videos. I know this one's a little bit short. There are a lot of things going on in the news, including uh, a young actress being attacked. I'm going to make a video about that as well because I think that is ridiculous, as well as a couple other things that are going on today. But I need to go nap because I just came off of a live stream where we watched Rambo Part Rambo First Blood Part 2, which actually was amazing, awesome 80s action cheese, and I loved it, surprisingly, because I knew it was 80s action cheese going into it, and so that's why I was able to appreciate it for what it was. Uh, but I'm exhausted. Anyway, guys, please like the video. Share it if you will as well. Also, please hit that subscribe button as well. It helps me out a lot. You guys are all amazing and beautiful people. Have a wonderful day. And as always, God bless.